I've had a major depressive disorder and problems like that for years and years. And being in the army, I just suffered in silence all of the time and just sort of dealt with it. My best mate was only about, oh, probably to where Jimmy is when he died and he burnt to death. But I was on top of the truck and he was underneath. You have nothing good to say. When people ask you how you're doing, well, I'm doing fucking shit. Mates for Mates was the most critical one for me. It was one of the few things that probably saved my life during that really dark period because uh, it just gave me a safe place to be. The same four people that were on the grinders, if you could go back to your position, you'll now put another sail up, which is the jib. We saw how much Mates for Mates could offer all the guys that were currently serving and were injured, were going through mental injury as well, guys that were trying to rehabilitate and get back to work. And Mates for Mates did uh, play a big part in actually helping out with this rehabilitation and everything like that. It's helped my family out heaps. It's um, an organisation that just doesn't focus on the soldier. They call it a uh, family recovery center. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. not just for the soldiers, it's for the entire family, which is very important because you go through what you go through, but it also gets imposed on the, the closest people around you. See where the beach ends? Yeah, yep, see where that holds. You know, you've got psychological support, you've got the physical rehabilitation and support there and that, and um, the adventure challenges and things like Kokoda and the kayaking, challenges and that but most of all uh, for me especially I know you guys are the same it's that community. Craig will let the old one off. Mick have you grabbed a couple of other people to wine? I've always said it's a snowball on the way down but it's also a snowball on the way up so you can start doing little activities like this that make you feel good get you feeling alive get you feeling comfortable talking to people just get you inspired and then you, you, you're more inclined to do that little bit more next time. So today's been, yeah, really rewarding for me particularly and sort of seeing the bright side of things again.